The Netiphone billing platform allows you to pay invoices, set up auto pay, download your transaction history, and manage your billing portal users. For your first login, open the email associated with your Netiphone billing. Before you click the link, notice that your username is listed below. Do you copy your temporary password? After you open the login page, enter the username and paste the temporary password. The page will automatically refresh after you press enter again, and you can now create a new secure password using the requirements listed on the left side. After logging in, the homepage dashboard summarizes your account information. From here, you can choose to make a payment or set up an automatic payment method. To set up AutoPay, click the Manage Auto Payment button or click Add New. Enter either your ACH banking information or credit card. Automatic payments are set to the due date listed on your invoice. To make a payment, click the Make a Payment button under your current balance. Enter either your ACH banking information or your credit card. You can click Set to autofill the amount with your current balance or manually enter an amount to pay. Ensure the state is a valid two-character state and that the zip code matches the zip code associated with your credit card. Before clicking Pay, review your information in the emails listed to receive billing notifications. If your current balance is different than you expected, you can click the View Aging link next to your current balance for a 30-day increment balance history with anything over 120 days grouped together. For a detailed transaction history, scroll down to the bottom of the home page. The dynamic spreadsheet allows you to filter by time period and transaction type, invoices, payments, credits, and refunds. You can download a PDF invoice by clicking the link on the right side to see more rows per page, click the number box in the bottom right and choose 10, 50, or 100. Clicking the transaction invoice number on the left will open an invoice preview. Here, you can see the details of your charges as well as export your call detail records, or CDRs. The online view of your invoice charges are retained indefinitely. However, the call detail records are only available for three months which is why, if you need to, you can export them as a CSV file and then import them to Excel or Google Sheets. Even after the three-month retention period, you can still access your summarized usage PDF from the home page or by clicking the Download Invoice button at the top of this page. To manage billing portal users, return to the home page and click your name in the top right. If you do this from another page, you won't see the Manage Users option. From here, you can add users to access the portal and choose if they receive billing notifications, which include invoices, payment confirmations, and outstanding balances. When you add a new user, they will automatically receive an email notification with a link to the billing portal with their username and a temporary password, as we saw at the beginning of this video. To update your organization's profile, click the Edit Profile button on the home page. Here, you can change the bill to name, which is written on your invoice, your billing address, the billing contact email addresses, and your organization's time zone. If you have questions, please contact the billing team at 866-978-8260 or email billing at netophone.com.